Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin Olsen and his Norman. This is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Violet. And we're going to be talking to this lady here so we can start to go on the school trip and start the DLC, the Teal Mask. This is my first ever playthrough of the Teal Mask. You're one of the students uh, chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Wander. Wander, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a tarot orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be common sight at school. Unless that's not the case, are you perhaps a specially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Breer? Oh, Miss Breer. Miss Breer, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Wonder. What a lucky scamp you are getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transitioning here. I'm sure happy for you. I wish I could go too. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Miss Breer. I got a bit carried away. Well, Mr. Jacques, so kindly stated for me. My name is Breer. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region. You know, Miss Breer helps uh, set the curriculum there. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kik Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see the same energy present in Paldia's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldia. Ah yes, there's not much uh, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League director Clavel. Oh I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon? No, oh, well, uh... Oh, sorry, Wonder. Forgot about you for there for a moment. Anyway, the school trip, uh, think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paul Dia's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to the Pokedex app. If you get uh, out your phone... The Kitakami Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. And there you go, all done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami too. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. You just go and have fun. Don't be talking to my mother, ever. So I guess we're, this is the DLC. The t I think this is the, the start of the DLC, yeah? I think it is. <laughs> I hope it is. <sighs> your Mr. Jack is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Wonder. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying our long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. Let's go. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami, Wonder? Yes. This is exciting. This is super exciting to play. This is my first ever Pokemon DLC. We'll set out together as a group once the students have arrived. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be your first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own. Hopefully Arvin's here. While I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know the Violet book? I know it. As you should, it was the most influential book of the century on the subject of paranormal... Oh, maybe it's a different book I'm thinking of. The author of the Violet book, Keith, was in fact an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. They're big into ancestors in the Pokemon game. Look here, these are the pages that were blacked out and made Ill eligible in the published version of the book. While separate from the research team in Crater's Depths, I found a strange entity, whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all. Even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious brilliant disc. A disc Pokemon? I have attentively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon detected on these pages is Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into uh, the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on work that's in front of me. Mr. Rio, we're ready to go. Who are these chumps? 
Looks like the gang's all here. It's just us? Alright, everyone. To land a Kitakami. <laughs> Our smile. Wonder's smile is always so nice, though. So this is a new area. A whole new land. Hey, that's my Dragonite, Sora. I'm actually very interested to see what this looks like. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. This is exciting, isn't it? This is really exciting. Part one, the teal mask. So people have said these DLCs are actually very good. Um, I'm excited to see where they lead. Already a very different vibe with these areas. We're finally here! That's my line, Johnny. My butt is killing me after those hours sitting first in the plane and then that bus. How we all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way? Marcus. Marcus was... I think Marcus fell out the plane. The long to the land of Ki Kitakami. This is a stage for all new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Whoa, new Pokemon. It's actually my first time here too. Why the rice fields are the, uh, why the rice fields here are just dazzling. That's a whooper. That's a basic whooper. Up ahead is Miso Town or Masu Town. That'll be our base of operation for the duration of the trip. It looks beautiful. It's so beautiful. It feels so traditional. Miss Why, I don't feel so good. Oh, all the travels have given you a dose of motion sickness. Why don't you pause for a moment and take it in the sight of the fields? I forgot that, like, that's such a common thing when, like, you were a kid to be like, I'm sick. <laughs> but then, like, when you get older, like, you just suffer. <laughs> You're just like, oh. <laughs> I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Masu? Masui? Masu? And let caretaker know we're here. It would be also great if you explained that one of our students is feeling unwell. I'm on it. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way, then. I'll look after the poor travel buddy here. I'm so excited for this. You know what's so cool about this? Well, they've changed the dialogue options, so I can't be rude anymore. <laughs> uh, Derek, take my line again. I was supposed to say that I, 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 I oh, you're so tall. You're actually very much bigger than me. I'm not going to start on you. Oh, we can't rhyme right on in here. <laughs> we can't scare the locals yet. Potions, nice, nice. So there's new Pokemon like around here, new bug types. But there's gonna be a lot of similar Pokemon, I guess, like that we've seen before. Um, we have some Ultra Balls. What is that? What is that? It looks like Ned Flanders. <laughs> a Sawaddle. Should we make a whole new team of, like, Pokemon from the DLCs? I caught it. See, I've, my Pokemon are too powerful. We need to, like, equip a Pokemon that can, like, maybe... Um, or we could just yawn it. Yeah, we need to equip a Pokemon, I think, that, like, can, like, catch these, you know, lower-level Pokemon. Then again, we can we could just use yawn. We could just use yawn. We're gonna try to keep going trying Ultra Balls. Just try it. Yeah, and when they fall asleep, it'll probably be easier to catch them. If I hit them with any of my Pokemon, this Pokemon is dead. We are like, we're like 15 levels above this Pokemon. I'm super, yeah, I think we should make a whole new team. Even our, like, take our starter, maybe, no, no, maybe not. No. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's, if we see a Pokemon we like, we can add to the team. I think that's the way we do it, right? That's the way we do it. We don't just make a whole new team, because our team is actually very good. And our team has given us so much over the past while. And also, like, I'm not very good at Pokemon. So it's a bug grass type. This bumps, uh, they bump on their head are sensory organs. When the swaddle meets, they grow, uh, they greet each other by rubbing these bumps together. Freaks. That's what I want on the team. Absolute freaks. So we're going to call it Ned. Because it looks like Ned Flanders to me. Uh, add to the team. No, not yet. We could replace Sonny Boy with, with Swaddle. But then we already have a bug type. And I don't want to take out Heracross. There's a new Pokemon in the Pokedex, Sawaddle. They expanded the Pokedex for us as well, which is really cool. Um, that, that flying bug type is also very cool. We're definitely not going to get uh, that type of Pokemon. What is that? What are you? What are you? 
A cutie fly? Definitely don't want you on the team, but we'll kill you. If anyone's tuning into this for the first time and they haven't seen my other playthrough, canonically my Pokemon kill the other Pokemon. Oh, look at that glare. Yeah, this is so cool. It's so different. They're doing such a good job to make this feel different already. <gasps> oh! It's like, it's a Kingler? King Kingler? Crabbler? <laughs> Kingler, I think it's called? What's it called? No, it's not a Kingler. It's like a, a Corphish. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I, I do not know my Pokemon as well as I thought I did. I actually, like, again, if you're also tuning into this, never seeing my actual playthrough of Pokemon and Violet, you will know that I actually don't know very much about Pokemon. That's a really cool looking Pokemon though, isn't it? Wait, we already used Yawn. Yeah, because, yeah, okay, it's going to fall asleep now. Guillotine, that's a cool name for a, a, a move. Uh, let's t try and catch the Corpfish. Yeah, the locations are already very cool. I know I'm already spending time- Oh god, it's drowning the Pokemon! Do not oh, I guess it can- It's a water type, it'll be fine. I might think Kingler's was Krabby's evolution. Corpfish is a different thing altogether. So, it can live in impure water where it doesn't need to compete with other water Pokemon for food, so its numbers have steadily increased. Uh, would you like to get Corvus a nickname? Yes, I would. Uh, it reminds me of Bobby Hill. We're going to call it Bobby Hill. <laughs> I don't know why the, the eyes remind me of Bobby Hill. Don't think we're going to add it to the team, though, because, again, Sora is... I like Sora a lot. And, like, the thing is, I, I only recently got some of these, these Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it, like, some of these Pokemon are still fresh. It's still fresh in my mind. Was that a trainer already? They just, like, they just let you explore. They, like, I guess that's the nature of these games now. They love exploration in these games. Eek, you're one of those people from Baldi, aren't you? Eek. I'm just here on a school trip, Mayu. Mayu, you're lovely looking, though. So this is a water type, isn't it? So maybe we use Shadow Ball. Skirsky. Is that like, is Skirsky like a kind of like a take on Sunkern as well? Like it's Surf Skit or something? We are, are we over leveled for this area? Are we heavily over leveled for these, this area? Shingling. No, we're going to keep battling Pokemon. I think, I think we might be slightly over leveled for this Pokemon area. Let me see the levels of the water level we're we fighting here. 54. So it's around 50. I think we might make a new team. And I think it's just because, like, we I think we could tear through this DLC. Like, we have a level 80 Pokemon here just destroying their Chingling. Um, I just think that might be fun to make a whole new team for this for the for the game. Like, I feel like we're gonna we're we're gonna be like so overpowered anyway. So let's check. And we can only use Pokemon from this area. I think that's a fun rule. For we can only use Pokemon from the Teal Mask. Um so let's start with Let's see. So we got these two Pokemon. So Ned. Ned can replace Unfortunately probably can replace Sonny Boy. And then your water can replace our dragon type Sora. I know it's I know this is so weird. And this is actually like very, it feels very wrong. But I feel like this is probably the best way to do it. Like, I don't want to come in here. Oh, they're both asleep. And like, just like, because we will, like, a level 80 Pokemon seems like it would rip through a lot of this. And we, if we need to, you know, go back and use our other Pokemon for some stuff, like if we need to, like we can. It's not a big deal. Um... But we want to catch as much, like, like types then as possible, as soon as possible then, you know what I mean? That's the thing. Actually, though... I actually might prefer to have, like, a flying bug type rather than anything. And we might keep Sora on the team- I might keep Toto on the team just to use yawn effects. Just for now. Like Yanma. Yanma is like a cool looking Pokemon. And I think this might actually have flying moves as well, just by judging by the fact that it's flying.
music here is very different too. I'm, ex I'm excited about that. We're gonna make a whole new team of Pokemon. Even our starter eventually will be off the team. Are you guys excited for that? I'm excited for that. Yeah, it has wing attack as well as bug moves, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm actually like, I don't know. I'm actually so excited for that. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Like, this is maybe, I, at first I was kind of like, no, I want to keep my team. Oh wait, wait, but it, it, it's, it's yawning though. Can we use like a different Pokeball? Maybe a bug, po uh, like a netball or something? Like a master ball. <laughs> Uh, netballs are good for, uh, right? Are good for these Pokemon? Yeah. So Yanma was caught. So what is Yanma? Yanma's bug flying. If it, can see, it can see in all directions without moving. It's big eyes. Helping it spot both attackers and prey right away. Would you like to give Yanma a nickname? I would. Yanma looks like... Yamna's a flying bug. Um, and flying bugs remind me of Summer. So we're going to call Yanma Summer. Uh, add to your party. We will add Yanma to the party. And we might replace then Ned with Yanma. Yeah. Yanma's already a very good Pokemon name, by the way. It's already a very good Pokemon name. So what is this? Is a grass type one? Or is it? Is it no, was it a normal type? No, it's bug type. Yeah, no, I don't want that Pokemon at all. I really don't want that Pokemon at all. I love that I'm already taking some time to explore. This is like... This feels so reinvigorating. To know that we're going to have like a whole different team. It actually makes me super excited. we got to be on the lookout, though, because there's going to be Pokemon around the place that we'd want to, like, catch. And we're trying to develop a team as quick as possible. Wooper does uh, ground-type moves as well, right? Am I wrong in saying Wooper does ground-type moves, which might actually be a good Pokemon to catch on the team? But then again, does Wooper also do water moves? So we probably don't want Wooper on the team right away. I'm trying to see if there's any Pokemon around here that we can catch right away. It doesn't seem like there are. I mean, Wooper's up there, though. That's the only issue. It's weird that we can't walk up the side of this, isn't it? Because usually we're able to like, walk up any side of these areas like this. Like, we walk up here. No problem. Oh, yes, we can walk up here, then? Yes, okay, you can walk on the green grass parts. Um, I don't want to catch a dog. What's that? Oh, that's an um, Kovic. So what, like, we should know what type Wooper is at this point. But I think, I think he does have some ground moves. I'll yawn. I actually might replace Toto's, um, yeah, he does ground type moves, which means I probably will replace him. No, we shouldn't do it again. I probably will replace Wooper, uh, Silver, uh, with Wooper. To have a ground type move. And actually, like, I know it's going to be ground water, but again, we're just, like, whatever Pokemon we catch here is going to be on our team. And that's the only ones we can have on our team. And I think that's, like, a fine, like, little challenge. Um, imagine I use the Master Ball. I'm going to use it by accident at some point. You know I will. I'll reload my save. I'm not proud. Do you think I'm proud? So we have Water Ground, which is actually very good. When it walks around on land, it, costs it, it, it co coats its body with slimy, poisonous film. Would you like to give Wooper a nickname? I would. I would like to call Wooper. Uh, it, Wooper sounds like a whooping cough. Um, Tiny Tim. Add your party. We actually might replace... No, we'll add to the party, but... It won't make sense to... Like, I think we replace Silver for now. Like, our, yeah, like, I feel like... Okay, maybe I'm going to change my tune when I see that, like, the first like gym or whatever we do in this and I'm like oh <laughs> we need to um get our Pokemon back we'll see we'll see I'm again I, I, as you guys know I'm not a proud person like I've never been a proud person like I'm not a person who's gonna be like okay uh, like I've, I'm not I'm gonna not I've never get my Pokemon back just because I'm too proud like I'm not that proud this is beautiful area are you a trainer are you a trainer there's a lot of trainers around here actually 
Um, no, not a trainer. Okay. Any of you guys trainers? Not trainers. We should just go to our destination then. I'm excited to find other types of Pokemon though. Like I wanted, like, like as soon as we find a fire type, we're replacing Toto, you know? Like, and it's, it's sad, but I feel like it also makes sense, right? Like we're in a new place. We're discovering new things. If we need our team, they're always there. If we need our team back, they're always there. And if, if it gets to the point where like, they're too overpowered. Like if we're, if we're getting overpowered, we have a team that we can sort out. Who are these? Who are these people? Oh, imagine a Vulpix. Oh my god. Sis, look, there's one now. What's happening? The boy design is awesome. So you're one of the students who came from the Paldea region, right? Huh? Are you shy? Whoa, uh, way cool. Uh, Kieran. Uh, I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider of you wander in Mosai Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Oh god! Come on, sis, you just want to battle? You're making this big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush, Kiki. <laughs> Just ignore my little brother. The Kiki's outfit's freaking awesome. Kiki's freaking stylish. Oh man. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Get in position. The fit is is perfect. So we're gonna have our first Pokemon battle here. We'll actually know the levels of what our Pokemon are uh, like are um or what we should have our Pokemon at the level of now. I'm gonna have some real good fun with you. Cause the gym battles are always a better indicator, like the battles with actual trainers, story trainers. Your challenger Pokemon trainer, Carmine. Puchina! Okay, we won't be using Toto for this battle. It depends on the, the level of the Pokemon. What's the level of your Pokemon? Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Oh, Kiki's awesome, man. Look at them. Level 60. Okay, so I'm going to put you to sleep with my Pokemon. Then I'm going to use the other Pokemon. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Level 60. Well, we can get there, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We can get there. We can level up our Pokemon. We can battle our Pokemon. Um, so I might then switch around the Pokemon. The only one that we can really use is, um... Uh, Bobby Hill. <laughs> Even though, like, I think he's, like, a normal type. Jesus Christ, we're back to this again. How's that for a first day to get to Kami? Not enjoying this, uh, I'm not enjoying this or anything. But I think he, since he's like normal type, he should be weak to like bug and stuff. Now he sleeps, so we can start doing some stuff. So we can do, uh, Awakening. On our, uh, Summer. Pachina's fast asleep still. I would use an Awakening if I were you. Because what's coming next is going to frighten you. Let's go, Summer. And what I might do as well, like, is I might bring back our team out. Our original team that we had in this game. Um, when we get to the point where we're fighting trainers that are, like, level, like, 70 and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because right now, we're, like, 20 levels above this, this Pokemon in some cases. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to use it a, a team... Oh, you know about ma tie matchups? Barely. Barely, Carmine. What? Oh, because you turn. You turns that move. Okay. Um. So we have to swap. We have to. Okay, so we have to get a better move than you turn. I'm not a big fan of. Um. I'm, I'll just be honest. I'm not a big fan of the idea of uh, a move that, like, swap. Like, it's good to have, but we want to put another bug type move on the team as well. Um, so I wonder which would be good. We could probably check if we have any bug TMs. Let's use Crab Hammer. Oh god, don't do anything to me! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh god. Look, it's fine. It's fine. We're used to this now. You know what I mean? Sonny Boy, he was used to this. Um, Summer. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, let's use a wing attack. He's about to send out Vulpix. Will you switch your Pokemon? I will. Actually, what we might have to do is might have to send out... We might have to just wake up t Tiny Tim. What's the evolution of Whooper Whopper? This is super exciting. Vulpix, man. I would love a Vulpix. I'd love a Vulpix. If we can catch a Vulpix, that, that's my day sorted. I should have awakened him before him, but that was my bad. I didn't think we were going to go right into it. Like, I thought we'd get to a Pokemon Center first or something. I wonder if the Pokemon Centers would look different as well. Jesus Christ. Uh, should we try Muddy Water right away? And s oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, our team is now underleveled <laughs> for this. Like, we could send out... I could send out Toto and end this. You know what I mean? I could send out Toto and absolutely end this. And if we have to, we have to. Like, right now our team isn't great. You know what I mean? Right now our team isn't very good. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to say that, like, we might need to bring in our big boys to even try and do this. You know what I mean? I'm not ashamed. Summer is good, though. Ah, <gasps> come on, that was just a lucky hit. Kieran's had enjoying this a lot, though. The opposing Vulpix fainted. We got. Is about to send a Poltergeist. Oh, that's a ghost type Pokemon. Um. I mean, like. Yeah, we're going to use our Kubo. Like, we don't have a good enough team yet, guys. We do not have a good enough team yet of Pokemon around this area. Like, I will just catch six Pokemon. And if I can catch a Vulpix, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's going to be kind of sad getting rid of our team. But again, like, I just, I, ju I just think that, like, having 20 levels above is not always a good idea. But hey, it's also exciting catching new Pokemon. Yeah, Kubo. I didn't realize the DLC. Like, so did they expect people to like um, just like not level up their Pokemon as much? But I guess the final boss of the Pokemon, the of the base game, is like level sixty something, isn't it? It's like level sixty four. Wowzers! You went and beat my sis. Your design is fantastic. I can't believe it. That's the way you should have been able to beat me. Fine, I guess you pass barely. It was a bare pass. Seems I got no choice but let you into town. But only if you become one of my grunts and do every other thing I... Sure, I'll do it. Who's this? Oi! Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But I... You're... You're... You were dressed so well. Where do I get your outfit? Wait up, sis. Hello, stranger. You must be one of the students from the Pauline Academy, right? I help run the community center in Mosu... Mosui? I can't even pronounce it. Town... And a fair other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you trouble or grief now, just were they? No, they were actually very cool. I hardly know what to do with the two of them. Especially that karma and always been a handful. That one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. She didn't. She was fantastic. She was fantastic. She was great. She was great. What? That? I remember your group fell ill down by the bus stop? I better get go over there and give them a hand. So they can make it into town. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in the community center. I'll catch up with you soon. Is that... <gasps> the Pokemon Center is like a little thing over here. Look at that. Look at this. I just noticed this now. They were really cool. Whoever they were. Can we go into the nature areas and like... Can I get a... Uh, catch a few Pokemon? I want to catch like six Pokemon. Like right away. <laughs> and just have them like... Have a new team of Pokemon. Look at this. Look at our... Look at this. Look at this how different our team looks already. Our team is very strong. Um, huh? Oh, they, okay. They made us go to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Or the it's community center. This way, everyone. I'm no longer sick. Wonder, I owe you for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now. All right, everyone. This is the community center. This will be the same for a while while you're here in Kitakami. 
This plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out the space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Uva Academy. Oh right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So when you come, don't be shy. I really want to meet Kieran again. The fit, man. The fit. And he seems like a very interesting character as well. Didn't seem to have very much like a vibe with his sister as much. Come on, everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. My shoes are always clean and white. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. This here lounge is where you can watch TV and chat or relax however you like. And, well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria and the toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space to uh, each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that about covers everything. But if you're into any trouble at all, don't hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. I... Uh, that's not my voice. Thank you for the tour. All right, kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Thanks for having us. They're going to get sick again, Tommy. Stop. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. So just think of this place as your own home away from home. And relax. You must be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early, but uh, why don't we have dinner and call the night? We got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. All right. Yeah. Tommy can't eat. He's sick. I better not know Tommy. Tommy. I ate Tommy's dinner. It comes up. I ate, you had Tommy's dinner. Look at him. He's all standing over there sad, waiting for dinner again. Tommy, dinner's over. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like it in the community center. Remember, tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late. You might oversleep. I want to catch more Pokemon. Let's go. Let's catch more Pokemon. Probably not best to wander alone at night in an unfamiliar place. I've literally been in Area Zero. <laughs> I've literally gone to Area Zero. So, this is the girls' restroom. Boys' restroom. This restroom can be used by anyone. Oh, cool. Neutral. Uh, hello. Welcome, dear Polygon student. We provide a special server for the visitors here at Gitakami Community Center. If you opened your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that there is a theme of the upper uh, and lower borders of your screen in some menu changes now, depending on your location. Do you want to change the setting for upper and lower borders in your menu? Uh, yeah, match the location. Okay, I hope you enjoy sightseeing around Kitakami in your current setting. Let's see, is it, has it actually changed? Like in the boxes and stuff? It hasn't changed in the boxes, maybe in the bag? It's really pretty, actually. Oh, yeah, well, let's check a TM if we have a bug type move. We have struggle bug. We have pounce. We do have some good bug moves. But we want, like, a bug move that, like, is, like, super powerful. Leech life. Should we? Yeah, we should definitely teach this to our bug type move. Uh, bug type. Excisor cannot be learned by that Pokemon. Well, we can teach leech life, which 80 is, like, a pretty good like damage bearer no i'm trying to teach it to um this pokemon and we can i guess air slash is 75 95 accuracy i actually prefer using uh, the less accuracy because like at least we'll have a tiny bit more damage for now nice already uh he's a little bit better you know what's down here Looks like a conference room probably won't be using this. The food here seems really heavy, but it's still really tasty, too. Yep. That's usually it. <laughs> There's a lot of, like... Like, what you'll find is, like... I find, like, um... You know, in whenever I go to, like, a different country, stuff is, like, you know, either equally as, like... Heavy or... Way healthier. There's no in-between. Actually, I say if I went to America, it's probably, like, very, very heavy food. Oh, they're there again. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by two of our Academy students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourself. They already introduced them to me. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure. 
to meet you all, outsiders. I mean, visitors from Baldia. <laughs> She's a bit demented. I like it. I am Kieran. Carmine and uh, Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two, I better uh, be re of real help, you hear me? Aye, aye. Right. Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you a bit about uh, what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll all split you into pairs, that each pair will be tasked in finding three signboards, located around Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here from in Kitakami. Read all, read them all, and learn a bit about our home. To prove you complete a task, we've asked that each pair of the snapshots together, uh, and each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone camera. Or camera. <laughs> take a photo together in front of each of the street signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami to learn all about its rich history. More, much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on, eh? <laughs> Wonderful. What an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. You obtain roto stick. You put the roto stick... Like a selfie stick? <laughs> that's, that's funny. A stick of a roto phone allows you to take selfies from a bit further away than you could have on your own. Press the X button while in selfie mode to use your roto stick. The roto stick adds some different distance, so we can always take selfies. I hear the things that are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you take those photos. I'll even teach you rad pose I came up with all on my own. You learned the Eureka emote from the caretaker. Oh yes, real rad. Remember that one of the goals of remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties of, uh, between our schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well will be big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle! Carmine looks like she's ready to kill someone. <laughs> she looks crazy. Oh man. Oh man. You're a wanderer or whatever, right? Let me guess, you want to pair up with one of us, poor lonely blueberry students? Yes. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way to do to your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother there has been all googly eyed ever, uh, over you since yesterday. Oh wow, he wouldn't stop talking with you even at home. I said you couldn't get him to shut up. Oh, that's really sweet. Sis, why are you telling that for, dummy? Hey, watch you call dummy if you know it's good for you. Man. Looking at being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He probably never worked their nerve to ask you himself, but he really liked to battle with you. Yes. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sorta of nice. This will make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Wander says he'll battle you. What? Wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get in your positions, you two. Everyone else clear out, make some space. I got this. This is my best friend right here. This is my new best friend. Everyone would love you. Oh, kissing the Pokeball. Interesting. Oh, Centris. Oh, I'd love one of those, actually. Very interesting uh, decision, though. I remember we get to battle you. This is awesome. So what's the level of your Pokemon, though? Level 59. Guys, I might actually just like tear through this battle. <laughs> just because again, I don't think my team is that good yet. Um, at least like we'll, we'll tear through the first Pokemon. And then we'll see what we do with the next Pokemon. Um, our team is not well-rounded yet. Yeah, and see this is what I mean. It wouldn't be very fun to use Toto and have like a level 80 Pokemon just destroying this entire team. You know what I mean? Yanma. So that's a bug type. That's this one we have here. So we might, I don't know what would be good against Yanma. Um, like we could use one of these, but we could use our Yanma or we could use uh, Crunch maybe or something. I don't know. Crunch seemed to work against our Yanma, right? Go, Bobby here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dad. That's my purse. I don't know you. Uh, well, I guess we could use, uh, which is the more powerful? Oh, yeah, Crab Hammer. Let's go Crab Hammer. Oh, Giga Drain. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Okay. You know what? Until we get a well-rounded team, we're just gonna destroy this, and then we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try and catch more Pokemon. <laughs> this is called Torch Song. You got this, Yama. Cut to the wind and show them what you got, oh, buddy. Buddy, my Pokemon is ultra level, powerful XP twelve five. My Pokemon don't even know when to quit. My Pokemon are actually like dementally evil. Uh, I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. Wowzers. Wowzers is a great thing. I love that. It's like Inspector Gadget. You're not a... Toby, you're not a chicken. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, if you want to be a chicken, you can be a chicken. Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowzers, you sure are strong, Wonder. You really aren't half bad. Uh, Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. The orienteering thing, we're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. I'd love to. He can teach me how to get a nicer fit. We should, why do we both had fits? I had like a purple one, he had a white one. And we we're like going around town. Bullying people and stuff. Taking people's money and stuff. <laughs> Don't what? It's not like we can pair up or, uh, or were you hoping to partner with someone or uh, other rando outside instead of wonder? Well, no, but oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little bro, you. This is actually really sweet, because it seems like he's a very shy person. She's actually trying to get him out of his shell a little bit. Looks like you've all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. Now then, off you go do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over to that away to stop at Peachy's. They'd be happy to set you uh, to rights. Um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard of the Loyalty Plaza. That's our past, uh, the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by and I figured it might have make sense, you know, to visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from safety. No, follow me right beside me, buddy. Get on my shoulders if you want. I love him. He's so adorable. He's so sweet. Rotoroto, who's calling? This is Clavel. Do you have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Master Wonder? No, you don't. Leave me alone. They made Wonder way sweeter. He used to be able to answer very, like, rude. <laughs> he used to be able to be like, F off. <laughs> my, my. It certainly does uh, this hard good to be greeted with such a lively response. Now, if I could take a moment of your time, there is something we must discuss. Master Wonder, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. You already know of the Odovitz Region's Blueberry Academy, I presume. What's that? Oh, now this is a surprise. I heard you were taking part in a joint trip with the school. That's fine. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine. And he told me that he would be delighted to host you as an exchange student at the school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? Though I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still, I think it's best that you meet the man at least once to find out what he may be thinking. He's merely a bit of a character, but do not worry. I'll be there with you when you meet him. Once you feel ready to respond to his offer, I ask you to come by my, of my office so we can discuss the specifics together. Do feel, uh, do feel to prioritize your ongoing school trip. Though, if you so wish. This shouldn't change matter uh, can wait a little while. Now, I won't take up on any more of your time. Do take care until we speak again. Is that the other DLC? I don't get that. Is that the other DLC that we can, like, become a student of the school or something like that? I, I, I have no idea. I'd like to heal my Bogman. Thank you so much. I wonder what that, um, what that is. Yeah, we just need to heal up um, our Yanma as well. So, we can, like, go out into the world, I guess, and explore this this whole area. LR, oh, so you can switch between maps as well. So good. So good. So we can get a fighting type. But that's usually not always a fighting type. So he wanted to go to the orchard, isn't it? Our Apple Hill, so up to here. Um, So we will probably go there. But I want to kind of, like, make sure we're, like, getting a good grasp on, like... I would take a Poliwhirl. Is there poly worlds around here? I would totally take a poly world. Are you kidding me? Top 10 Pokemon of all time, poly world. Are they around here? Can I ride them right on you? I can't. Yeah. Wait, there's a 
This isn't Paldea! You know, no, no, stop. It isn't Paldea! God help new people coming in. <laughs> I mean, like, what the hell is this? Um, I, yeah, I want to see if we can maybe go into the water here and see if we can see a, a Poliwhirl. Or any Pokemon of the same kind. Um, I don't want to catch you, unfortunately, little bug. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, God. Can y'all just, like, stop grouping together? Would that be a good idea? Oh, no. So that's the evolution of, um, Ned. Okay. Let's check along the water trail here. There has to be, like, Pokemon around here. Oh, there it is. Wooper. You catch me instead. No, no, I have a Wooper. You have a Wooper? Yeah. Sure you don't want two whoopers? No, I'm I'm actually very okay. This, yeah, 110% so on board to catch this Pokemon. Are you kidding me? So let's put it to sleep. Not not literally, not like we, the way um, others might be thinking. Jesus Christ. So then... The, we can use an Ultra Ball again, but like it's not gonna catch him right away. We're gonna have to do two Ultra Balls, but like it's nice to try. Okay, cool. So Poliwag was caught. I actually really like uh, this Pokemon. I love the evolutions of them too. Um, its legs are newly grown and it can walk very well. It seems to prefer swimming through the water instead. Would you like to give Poliwag a nickname? I would. Um. The evolution eventually looks like a like a old timey movie like black like like Mickey Mouse style character. So I'm gonna call it um, Harpo. Just reminds me for some reason of like a black and white movie. Add to your party, yes. We will add uh, it to the party and we will um, take out Bobby Hill. No God, Bobby Hill. <laughs> Bobby Hill is gone already. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Because Bobby Hill was making me laugh too much. It's probably for the best. Uh, let's see if there's any more Pokemon. So we have like, like there's a lot of water types up here. But I imagine that we can go into the forest and maybe find some other types as well. Like generally I just want, I, I desperately want to find like some types of Pokemon. Like to, to kind of round out the new team. Reveler's Road. I wonder if there's any Pokemon here we can find. That might be good. There's a trainer over here, but we're just looking to exclusively catch Pokemon. That's... There we go. Vulpix time. And there's a Sentry as well. I'll catch a Sentry too. Are you kidding me? So, uh, I want to catch... Vulpix will basically be our... Um, our fire type. We're not going to replace Toto just yet because I like using Yellon to be able to catch Pokemon. But, like, eventually we're going to be able to catch some Pokemon with um, outer, outer parts of our team. Um... We don't need we don't need to use Yon. I don't know why I did that again. And it's gonna fall asleep now. I would be so on board for catching a Vulpix, are you kidding me? Here we go. And we can keep like adding to the team over time. It doesn't have to be a big deal. As its body grows larger, its six time its six warm tails become more beautiful with more luxurious coat of fur. This is a chunky Pokemon. Would you like to give Vulpix name? Yeah, this is this is like one a Pokemon you could like like you know have have like on the side of your bed and warm you up, you know what I mean? Um so it is a it's gonna turn into like a nine tails. So we call it something like, I'm thinking like pirates, Cato Nine Tails, pirates. Um, Bart for Black Bart, uh, the the um the the pirate that made the pirate rules up, the pirate that made the pirate code up. Um, yeah, Kubo. It feels weird getting rid of our party. But I, like, again, like I said, I know I'm trying to, like, justify it, like, when I don't really need to justify it. Um, really, our Pokemon team is just, like, too powerful. 
It's just it's just way too powerful right now. Um And it's it's powerful to a point that it's like not that's like a, you can get that Pokemon in Paldea as well. I'm not really looking I wanna I wanna get Pokemon I haven't seen in Paldea yet, you know? I think that's the fun of it. Like Sentra is a good idea, but it's just a normal type, that's the only thing. So like is it that much of a good idea? What is this? Is this ice? Yeah, I'm, I don't want an apple Pokemon. I'm okay. What is the Pokemon up here? We could get a bird type, but again, I don't want to get uh, Pokemon that are already in Paldea. Oh, we could have gotten a very special terrestrialized uh, version of that Pokemon. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't make much sense. I'm sure we're going to be going up here later, so let's go back and find... Oh my god, it's a... It's a Kubo. I'm so depressed. <laughs> I missed my team already. I miss my boys. We're going to be going all the way up here anyway later. So that's what we're going to be doing later. We're going to be battle. We'll, we, we will battle like all these Pokemon. I'm going to do it like in the order of when we actually go up here. Because I think we're going to have to go up here again uh, with uh, the boy. So let's go up into the other area. Oh. Maybe we could keep the entire team, but then don't keep uh, that one member, like the like Toto, because Toto is very powerful. We can all again. We'll transfer back once we get to like when the Pokemon start to get a little. Oh, is there Hootoots here? Is there who? You're joking. There's Hootoots. There's Hootoots. Sick look around town as well. I'm sorry, but like the idea of there being a Hootoots, like that sold me. Oh my god, Hootoots. Rock Tomb, okay cool. Actually a very cool move to learn if you could teach it to a Pokemon. I'm good with- I'm good. I'm good. With getting a Hootoot. If you can get a Hootoot. So it's the Apple Hills, so there's probably gonna be Apple Pokemon up here. Not gonna catch an Apple Pokemon. Um... What's this Pokemon over here? Oh wait, that's just like, we could literally get a Poliwag right now. And we can use... Oh, we probably should have switched Pokemon. But look, it's okay. We can use Shadow Ball. We can literally just get a Poliwag right now. But is this, is Poliwag's Terrasalized form gonna be fire now? Or Poliwhirl, I should say. Take off the, the helmet. No, I'm Mysterious Boy. That's your superior name? Mysterious Boy. That's a cool looking Pokemon. It's just a cool looking Pokemon in general. Wait, it's fighting type? Or is it mixed type? Oh my god, yeah, Shadow Ball did some good damage to it. There we go. I mean, this is just what we want, right? <laughs> we can catch this big boy. Like, that's the ch that's a chunky weirdo. Like, no one can deny it. That's the chunkiest weirdo. By the way, if you're new, we like catching chunky weirdos. Um, I keep saying if you're new because I'm naming this a new series. Got some stuff too. You caught Poliwhirl. Um. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with catching a Poliwhirl. That makes me very excited to be able to catch a Pokemon like that. And if we can catch a Hootoot, like that's also very exciting. But then again, I think we're going with mixed types is always a good idea sometimes too. You know. Um. 
Uh, so its skin is moist all over its body and the skin on its belly spiral also feels smooth. <laughs> Would you like to give Poliwhirl a nickname? Okay, so we called Poliwhirl... So we called another character Bobby Hill. We're gonna call this one Bill. <laughs> after Bill Dotrieve. I think we call every Pokemon after King of the Hill uh, names going forward. What do you guys think? I'm up for that. Every Pokemon we catch will be named after King of the Hill Pokemon. So that means, can someone teach me how to change the Vulpix name? Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll just look it up. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mean to be like, hey, you, you show me. You show me what to do. <laughs> Um, I'll look at it. Oh god, sorry. Ekans! No! It's an Ekans! Oh my god, I'm actually kind of excited. Excuse me, I'm gonna catch an Ekans. Oh my god, there's an Ekans. I'm so excited. 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 Are you serious? It's an Ekans? Oh my god, one of my all-time favorite weirdos. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is going to be such a funny team. This is going to be such a funny team. Oh my god, and having a poison type as well, by the way. Like, we don't- we didn't- we, didn't, we never had that before. You know what I mean? Um... We'll throw a Paul just to see if we can catch it. We've never had a poison type on our team. It's very common sight in the grasslands as such it uh, flicks his tongue in and out to sense danger in surroundings. Oh my god. All timer Pokemon. So we're going to call it, uh, again, King of the Hill names. <laughs> We're gonna call him, um... So he's poisonous, his words are poisonous. Cotton. So add to the party. Uh, who are we gonna swap with? I say Wooper. For now. Yeah. Cause I don't even want Wooper on the team, I'm being honest with you guys. But Ekans? And then we have a- we have a Cobra! Oh, you okay? Me, catch me now! I'm okay. That's me! <laughs> no. No? No, I'm okay. Guys, that's gonna do for this first video of the Teal Mask. I know this is all over the place, but really I'm just like kind of getting acquainted with this new area. It's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful new location. All of it's really fun to get into on the, for the first time. I'm excited to battle some trainers. I'm excited to have a new team. Already we have Cotton, Summer, Bill, and Bart as new members of our team. Um, and they're actually really cool. Like having, like Cotton's really cool too. And I want to thank the Can Never Play the Baby Gangsta tier on Patreon, which is Ty Faro 2, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Normal Cara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicitous Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Poke Girl, Tedder, and Fruity. Thank you so much for being uh, so nice all the time, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye bye.